Tilanta here and today I decided to talk continue my talking talks about um, skincare hair care and eventually I will also make one about oral care um, so here first I wanted to to say that um, the tips that I give or the advice if you want to call it like that it really doesn't mean that I know everything and I just share you know with that you you should do what I am telling you to do it's not at all like that it's just really that I'm sharing my experience and uh, my research because this is um, the topics that I talk about normally are topics that I've been researching and experiencing in my life uh, for many many years and then I just decided to talk about them but in no way is to say that you do this and then you you'll be happy it's not at all like that so um, I am going today to talk about hair care and again I will say it again this is not to say that my hair is something to look up to you know the hair quality but what I want to say is that the hair that I have now as I'm 49 years old now the hair that I have now at 49 is much healthier and than when I was much younger so it has been improving as I age except for the gray hairs and um, this, um, I also had a lot of hair loss in the in recent years but this was due to hormonal problems rather than what I use on in my hair or on my skin. So today I wanted to talk about skincare. So this is going to be just external things that we put on on our hair and um, in our hair, on our hair, it's a thing, in our hair. You will excuse my, my English. And um, so, um, so having said that, uh, let's start with some tips that I have, that I have um, um, experienced to be are beneficial so number one and if you know me you, you know which one this is going to be is that look at it, the ingredients on your shampoo i mean look at your shampoo if it's uh, not a natural shampoo just want to get rid of it because the shampoos the, like the normal shampoos that uh, i don't know that people use i haven't used for many many years but they are still being sold uh, which is a surprise for me because whatever with the ingredients that they have there just everything is chemical chemical or petrol based and you don't want to pay to put that on your hair to be honest I wouldn't use them not even if they paid me let alone pay to use these things I'm honest I would prefer to wash only with water rather than put those things in in my hair so one thing that they do is that they have, apart from the alcohol, glycerin and unpronounceable chemical compounds that they put there, the other thing is that many I've heard they have silicon. And what silicon does is that, and that's why they use it, you know, it just plumps up everything, just um, coats the hair and gives volume or gives um, a, a sense of, And um, what that does, it does that, but also attracts a lot of dirt. It's like a greasy thing that attracts dirt and um, um, dust. And so what that means is that when you use those things, shampoo and especially conditioners, they all have these kinds of things, they will attract, you, you'll get your hair, will get much dirtier sooner and then you'll have to shampoo your hair much more frequently. So you just don't want that for many reasons, and especially for children. I mean, children. I mean, let's be, let's be um, responsible here. We we don't want to use those things on our children. So that's one thing, and just get rid of those and buy natural. If you want to buy natural, and then go to the next step to really buy real natural uh, shampoo, then you will again look at the composition of your shampoo and you don't want alcohol or glycerins or any um, 
thing like that. But let's focus on the alcohol, as I've spoken also on the skincare product video. Somewhere here. Um, alcohol is just not necessary in a shampoo or any, uh, you, you don't want to put it on your skin. And the delicate um, roots of your, of your hair, also not a good idea, it will dry your, your hair. Now what that means is that you will need conditioner. And um, so if you want to make the switch to really natural shampoos, then it, I think it's a good idea because you will need much less shampoo. I have a one, 120 milliliter bottle of the shampoo that uh, I, I've been using for some months now. And uh, there's no alcohol, there's just like, um, what's in there, there's aloe vera, there's oils and essential oils and purified water. That's all that is. But it's very, very concentrated. It's more expensive than others. But uh, actually, it turns out to be not so expensive because I use it only every week or every one and a half weeks. I, I really don't feel that my hair needs, that's another, the, the next step, the next, um, uh, not step, the next tip that I, I, I have found out it makes sense to me is that um, there is no need to wash the hair like I used to, like almost every day, but it, because again, there were so many, it, it, my hair was really dirty. I mean, it looked dirty and oily and, and that was because of the, um, this in the times that I was using things like uh, not natural. And then I only understood much later that uh, I was attracting the, the silicones and what have you. The, the things to my hair so that the, the dust will just sit there and then I would have to wash the hair more frequently so now it's really not necessary I wash my hair once every one and a half week sometimes I even extend it to two weeks because in the winter it's very complicated for me to wash my hair due to due to my sensitivity in my head I um, frequently have headaches and strong headaches and that lasts for a long time if something goes wrong when I wash my hair but that's another uh, topic like having my head wet for a long time or even what you call those things dry things to dry the hair um, it doesn't work so uh, specifically for sensitive people it is totally fine not to wash your hair as frequently as you're used to if you don't want it and it's very cold outside and so when I wash my hair I have to stay the whole day inside the house I cannot be um, exposed to wind or cold in any way so that's me and that's why I decided also to use um, um, dry shampoos and then um, so when I just don't feel like washing my hair and I just need to have my hair uh, clean. I use dry shampoo. I make my own. Well, I, I until recently I've made my own, and I was not completely satisfied with it. I also bought some uh, in the shop in the past, and they are just not good at all. So I made my own. I've been using it for like a, a year now, but it, mm, I decided to use again the the brand that I sell um, in my shop. And um, I have it there, but I have not yet tried. But it smells lovely, and it um, the texture is better than the one that I was making for myself. So I'm excited for that. So that is just so simple. If you don't want to wash your hair, you just put that um, in your hair, leave it overnight, just brush it, and your hair looks amazing and with volume and really naturally clean because it is clean and this might look like that, that I am like a bit careless with my with my hair routine that I don't wash it that frequently it might sound a bit strange but it is not for me I really don't feel that it that it's dirty at all my hair my hair or my scalp so um, and there are really actually uh, many studies done that uh, if you wash your hair too frequently you will weaken it and one reason for that is that the hair roots 
the scalp takes 24 hours at least to dry completely so if you wash your hair uh, like every day your hair will always be um, wet and that weakens the the hair and um, what else so supernatural shampoos if you want don't uh, then if you use those shampoos you will need to wash your hair less frequently and um, use dry shampoos the other thing that uh, um, maybe you know already one way of giving shine to the hair is to use to do um, a rinse with apple cider vinegar uh, half half apple cider vinegar and water and you mix it and then on the on your last rinse you rinse it with that mixture and that really gives a very nice shine to your hair I don't do it very frequently I prepare actually my own uh, I just like to do these things I prepare my own apple cider vinegar um, infused with rosemary and sage and um, which are two very very good herbs for the hair especially for dark hair and that's what I use I mean it's simple it's just putting the herbs infused with with vinegar that's the herbs pour vinegar in it you have a vinegar a rosemary sage vinegar you can use dry herbs for that and then blend with water and then you have a very good hair rinse um, what else i think ah, and then there's the brushes and uh, combs the, the people that like to brush their hair and of course, um, it doesn't make sense to use plastic brushes. I know there are plastic brushes. Uh, the pens are made of plastic and the thing is made of plastic. I think that doesn't make any sense because now we are all aware that the plastic is, there is, uh, yeah, we, we, we should reduce plastic use. Although, to be honest, the plastic use, if the plastic, it, object that we have lasts for years and years and years that's really not so much of a problem the plastic problem is more the fact that we uh, it's single use we use it on discard of it or we use it on our um, clothes and then it gets yeah, that is just too much of plastic or oh, and then there's the microplastics that's the biggest problem in my understanding that's another topic plastic if it's to if you use a plastic uh, object for 20 years it's really not much of a problem to use the plastic but i don't think plastic or anything artificial um, benefits the body in any way so i use brushes and combs are made of uh, natural materials uh, of wood yeah and I brush and comb my hair like once or twice a week. Again, I'm not saying that um, my hair is an example of, of, of the best hair possible, but it is not a comparison between me and you or the neighbor. It's a comparison between what, what my hair is now and what was in the past. And um, even if I had gone through a very long period of extreme um health challenges um my hair uh well it suffered a, a quite a bit but now is um it's becoming again healthier and as i said in the beginning it's healthier than it was before like in 20 years ago so that's what i like to see is to compare like with anything not compare with others but compare with myself um are things getting better or are things getting more complicated so uh, or worse so in this case I think I'm probably doing something right because uh, the hair is thicker is healthier and um, yep yeah, that's it I hope this helps thank you bye bye